Good morning everyone. Alright, so we've got a 2008 Nissan V6 petrol. This has come from a lovely customer, found us on TikTok all the way from Sunbury um, for us to diagnose a couple of faults. Now, the codes that we've got set, um, let's have a look at the job sheet, are for camshaft position on bank one. Now, this car's had a history of engine work, um, namely blown head gaskets. So we could be looking at a timing issue. Um, there was a period of time, it was about 12 months between the work and, and this issue happening. So that's um, something to keep in mind. We've got two faults set. So intake valve, timing valve, circuit bank one, and cam position sensor circuit bank one. So this is the PO340 standard cam sensor and the PO1111 has set two times and that's for the intake valve timing solenoid. So it basically means that either it's not working, it's sticking or something. Um, now looking at our timing on live data, uh, we've already checked it, but we can see a difference in bank one intake timing. Um, whether that's a physical timing difference, so the timing skipped or jumped on that bank, or whether that is a commanded difference or a, a byproduct of a VVT solenoid or something sticking, that's a possibility as well so what we'll do is we'll run there run through the code set criteria and everything for these faults um, and then we'll get into testing all right and here's our connector pin out so this is the ECU connector pin out so we're looking for pin 13 and pin 33 so we're going to probe into them now um, and we're going to get a timing capture all right so looking into engine timing now what we've got here is this is a known good capture for pico waveform library so what we've got we've got this set up on two laptops it's a bit easier to see um, and i'll zoom in on this one quickly just to sort of show everyone a bit better what's going on so if we zoom in here something like that as you can see we've got this is our known good capture between the first edge or the leading edge of this cam trigger and the leading edge of this crank trigger, we've got about 15 degrees. Now, if we look at our vehicle over here, we've only got about three degree difference between the first edge and the leading edge of that cam trigger. Now, that in itself is enough to prove that there's definitely a difference, a physical timing difference. Um, and if I move these cursors along, so say we move to the next leading edge in this waveform, so we'll go to our next double trigger on the other camshaft. If we go to here, now we should have the same three degrees on that camshaft but if we go like that we've got about 11 12 degrees so that means that there's a difference between both camshafts relative to the crankshaft they should be the same so we should have 12 degrees on this one 12 degrees on this one we've got three to four degrees on this one and 12 degrees on this one so that's a difference whereas if we redo that test over here with this laptop a bit, a bit hard holding this bloody thing so if I drag this cursor into our next leading edge, you'll see that we'll have the same 15 degrees. There we go, 16. So that proves indefinitely that the camshaft is out. So we've, we've measured both of these camshafts relative to the crankshaft. So from this green trace here on the good known good capture to the crank, we've got 15. And then from this red trace here on the good capture to the crank, we've got 15. On this one, on one camshaft, we've got three degrees. On the other camshaft, we've got 12 degrees. So timing is most likely definitely out. Um, the last thing that we're gonna check, and it's just to sort of cover all bases, is we're gonna check if the VVT can function on this vehicle. So what we'll do is we'll just run the scope, we'll active test it, and then we'll watch the timing advance or retard just relative to the variable valve timing. Um, that's all that we have to sort of check here. And that pretty much confirms that this vehicle has an internal engine timing issue. So it obviously had the repairs done, um, all sweet for a year, and unfortunately, from there, it skipped. All right, so I just wanted to run everyone, um, or run through with everyone this timing difference, just because this, I think, would be interesting with a lot of people, how we can determine a physical engine timing issue based on these captures you know, from three wires at the engine issue. So on the left is our customer's car. On the right is a known good waveform from the same engine, the same vehicle, same year, everything. Now, we'll start with the known good. So what we do when we determine this, this is being a V6 engine, um, has obviously two banks, so bank one and bank two. So we've got two cam sensors that we're triggering off here. Now, if you have a look, we're just gonna start off triggering off one camshaft, right, this bottom one here. So we've lined our first cursor up here with the bottom camshaft trigger where we've got this run of two spikes, two spikes. 
same as here we've got two spikes two spikes so from here to our crankshaft sensor first trigger is about 16 degrees all right if we go over to our customer's vehicle from here to our crank first trigger is about i think it's three or four degrees now what that means is that we obviously have a difference in that particular there we go it's about three degrees all right so now that difference will carry on and we're going to reference from the next camshaft so all we have to do here is move the cursors over as you can see we're going to reference to our next camshaft input there and we're going to move this one over as well and we're going to reference to there now known good once again we've got i'm off but we've got about 14 to 15 degrees roughly um, and if we reference it on this one so we just remember three and a half degrees or four degrees if we reference it over to this one here we've got we've got we've got say about eight degrees there we go nine degrees ten degrees something like that so that difference there being that we've got obviously one timing chain running across all the banks and running this engine in sync with the crankshaft that means that one camshaft has shifted so if we add that, you know, nine and a half, say 10 degrees to the three and a half, four degrees, it brings us to about our 15 degree mark. So we've shifted that much on one camshaft to throw the timing of the motor out. Now, what this causes as far as the drivability issue is a vehicle that still runs and starts, but it misfires and runs like crap. Um, the ignition time will be all off because of it. Faults are set because of it, obviously. Um, you know, it's not shifted that much that this vehicle will not run, but it is shifted enough that it will not run well, it will not do ignition timing correctly, injector timing, all that sort of stuff. So that's how we confirm it. Um, and if you're ever looking at a waveform of a camshaft, crankshaft capture, you've just got to think of how that engine operates in your head and find reference points because it can look confusing looking at all these you know wiggly lines but if we find a reference point to go off which is on here these two humps two humps you know two humps two humps same on our customer's vehicle two humps two humps two humps two humps and measure it in comparison to the crankshaft we can see the difference there and we can calculate you know roughly what's going on so that's what we're at um the other thing that this test is fantastic for is because we're checking these sensor signals at the actual PCM or the engine computer, whatever you want to call it, that, sorry, because we're checking these signals at the actual computer, that proves that our cam sensors are good, our crank sensors is good, it proves that the 5 volt reference to them is good, the ground's good, you know, if we didn't have 5 volt ref or ground at the sensors, then we wouldn't have a good signal at the computer. So we can see that we've got good sensor inputs. It's not an issue with registering or anything like that. It's not an issue with the harness or the sensor. It's a physical timing issue with the vehicle.